Now I've got that other stuff done, I want to start doing something to this head. I'm going to try and weld onto these valve seats. And they're usually cast iron, so see if we can get a good tack onto them that doesn't bust off. What I'm thinking of doing, Bart, is getting rid of this sheet metal, cutting some holes in it, so I can just place it over here just to protect this area here, especially when it's getting TIG welded. I just don't want, I don't want that to get hit with the TIG. It will just destroy it. So I'm going to try and weld some there with the MIG. And like I don't want MIG splatter all over this face either. So that's why I'm going to cover it. A little cover plate. I was going to put four holes, but I only really need one. So I'm just going to have one. I made this little thing here to go on the end of the slide hammer. Just cut it end off. Of, it had a, it had a long, head, thick head, long head. So I've just cut it off. You know, I'm just hoping that I can weld some blobs onto here and it'll pop out. With the, the heat of the welder, it should help it pop out. You'll see. That one come straight out. Work good. I put a little piece of metal in there to protect the valve guide. We've got this here. I've just got that on there to protect it. I'll just weld a little blob here. This one, this is the other side. All over this side. So, I have to get you to help hold that a bit. Hang on. Is it coming? Yeah, a bit. Didn't say it was easy, but it's coming. There, got it. Ah. Good trick. So, there, take this little piece out that I've got to protect the valve seat, valve guide, sorry. And there's two out. That's basically how we're doing it. Working good. Let's cool that off a bit. Get all eight out with minimal damage. That's a good start. Get cut. Let's put this little bit here to protect the valve guide and the base of that. A little cover over the top. Put this thing here to hold it down. Got me. Matt's here to video it. You want to video that, Matt? That'll do. Yeah. Good. So, plus the heat of it helps it come out. Yeah. As you can get that in, in there. Yep. Try and hold it down as well. And we'll take some of that shit off there. Coming. Yeah. Yeah. Put it on the ground. Yeah, it's basically out. And stand on it. Never said it was pretty. Yeah, yeah, it's right. Third one. Yeah, too put it on the ground. No, basically, that's how we're getting them out. We just do the whole, do the rest of them. Yep. Take a little protective piece out. Right there. Where'd that other one go? There's one oh, through. Three. Boom. All out. Not a mark on the head. Come out perfectly. This little trick here worked great. Just put a little, little dolly there, pushes it down. I'll definitely be using that when I weld that up. Now that, and it's good to cover the valve guide. I've kept that little piece. Because I'll be using that when this gets welded. I might even make a bigger one for the uh, in, intake. It's just a little bit bigger in there. Anyway, I don't think we have to pull the valve guides out. I think they're okay. But the next next job is to grind this down, all these cracks, as far down as they go. I'll give them a good look and see what they look like. 
and that's got to be all welded properly even if you've got to weld that entire thing shut but that's not the plan I really it's only cracked down in there so where's this thing here only crack you know I'll just get one of these things that doctors use it's got a magnifying glass there I've actually got two of them but one my first one a little part here something broke on it anyway so I've got the other one but it comes in handy for looking at stuff like this anyway that's they're out the engineer didn't think we were going to really be able to get them out he didn't like the way they were held in but that trick worked great they so will we'll get rid of them but being the old type they're, they're more than likely made of cast iron and they're no good for unleaded fuel so we'll put the new type in whatever they are i'm not sure i think they're stainless steel the new ones they'll be going in and then we are running on unleaded fuel now we'll see what happens we should be able to use the old valves i hope so they're not bent anyway that's it for now the next like i said next job is to grind all these cracks out right down and then weld them properly and the only thing you won't go at this it's got to be done right these have to be actually machined back out. I, I can't do that with a die grinder. They've got to be put on to Guy will do that. I might let him do the whole lot. But they have to be properly done with a mill in there. Otherwise the seats are just going to be a disaster. Old valve seats, nothing gets chucked out. Nothing gets chucked out ever until that, that's completely finished. We can at least use those to measure the new ones. I will, I will hanging on to those until it's, this is completely finished this head and then I'll be glad to throw them in the bin you know to get the light right but you're chasing that crack and it's, it keeps going it just keeps going down so I really want to grind it down until there's no crack but it's getting to a point where you really can't even weld to it as he might be just going in the bin this head well that one there that goes down a fair way too they're, they're pretty nasty well, I'm not, I don't want to grind any more out of that it probably doesn't look that bad here but on the video but it's not good those cracks just keep going anyway I haven't even done the bad one I think I'm close to the end of it. I just really want to get down until the crack stops. And then we're just going to have to try and fix it. It's still cracked there. Anyway, just got to keep going. I haven't quite finished prepping this, but it's way worse than I thought. Way worse. None of it's good. None of it. It's bad. If we can fix that, we'll be doing really well. Because every single bit of it's stuffed. I'm chasing them cracks right down. I never didn't think they're going to stop. Like I can't go much further because it just you just can't get the welder down into it. But the head on the little Dremel thing I've got stuffed up the chuck. I'm going to have to go get another one. So I, I want to widen this more. These bits, I just I started widening this one. So I want to V them out more. So it gives it more meat. All of them have to, even this got to be done more. So they'll get V'd out. Those, so that you can properly weld it. it. It is very bad. It's way worse than I thought. So... I don't even know if I've really got right down to the very bottom of the crack, but I'm hoping the the welder will do the rest. But I'll get a bit. I'll get another Dremel. That one's pretty old, and I'll just I've got, I can see that's not seated that crack there. Yeah, it's bad, all right. Anyway, it's not as if I can wreck it. Like the things, it is wrecked. So if we, if we can fix that. It'll be good. It'll be more than good. I'm back working on this head, or I might even call it a dread. See that magnet sticks to that? 
And the way I think they've made this head is they've cast this in one piece and then they've put them in there like a time cert. What you do is you thread it down, you drill a hole, you thread it down and then you drill, you screw that in, basically. So what I'm thinking of at the moment is drilling this out, welding it all up down the bottom under the other side and then putting new ones in there. You can buy them. Yeah, that's M12. So that's basically what I'm thinking of right at this moment. Just drill these completely, not completely out, I won't get the all, I'm not going to drill it that big. Uh, whatever size the uh, time cert is, uh, it's probably M14 or whatever. But th these spark plugs are M12, so it's got to be a bit bigger than that. That's basically what I'm thinking of late, and that's my latest plan anyway. Whether it happens, I'm not 100% yet. But, well, it, it's hard to make it out on a video, but I can see a different type of metal there. I can see steel there. From there to there, steel. So, I'm not sure if it, where this time cert thing ends. It, it looks like it ends about there. I'm not sure if drilling it out's going to even help. But I'll have to drill, drill it out a lot, like... See yeah, how that looks like different metal there? Like a, I'm not even sure if that's steel there. Anyway, I'm just going to have to try and do something. Now, that would have been good, but it's just a fine crack there. That one's done. It's a shame because that went well. But that was, that was only hardly anything. Anyway, I'll just see what I can do. a small rest off the head. I'm prepping the right hand corner, front corner. So I've got all this stuff here, the stuff in the parts washer. I've got to get this bearing off here. They're, they're, they're just a pain, pain. They're always a pain to get off those things. So what they press that together like that. So they're pretty much going to have to smash this race off and weld something on there and get it into the press. It's never easy getting them off. There's no easy way about it. I smashed that race off, it allowed me to get that off. Now I've welded these two bars here, I'm going to go and put that in the press and just push that down, that'll just lift that up. There's the remains of that, it just comes straight off. It's got no choice, put it in the press, it has to come off. Now clean the rest of these parts up, get them ready to sandblast. There's the right hand corner, front, all the suspension stuff, all been cleaned and straightened. Realistically, that could be replaced, and that. And we'll see how we go. They're all right, but if you're done fixing every single part of this car exactly perfect, they'll be getting chucked. These two ball joints will be getting thrown away. They'll still work, but yeah, they really do need to be replaced. The other side will be the same. Well, we'll see what happens. I've just priced the, the bushes and the rubbers for this car. Only for the front. 500 euros. Like, everything's expensive. Every single little piece of this car is expensive. You're better off buying one that's been restored. Anyway, that's that. That stuff's got to be all sandblasted and painted now. I wasn't going to touch the left side, but... No little mistake here, when I've welded this thing here to get this bearing off, I've just welded on where the, the bearing identification number is. So I'm going to pull this one out without doing that, so I know which bearings to order. I guess I'm missing something. These things are really hard to get off. I've smashed the race off. I'm just going to do what I did to the other one, just weld this on here, then bung it in the press and push it straight out. There's an easier way. I'd like to know how to do it. Just weld that like that. Now I'll just go put it in the press and then it just pushes straight out. It's got something to grab to. Sit in the press like that. Really, it's got no choice. It has to come off. You, know, you can muck around with that sort of shit. But I've seen people muck around with that for ages. But that gets it off. It took me... You know, it probably took me 10 minutes at the most. Not even that. So I already had this stuff ready to go from the last time I did it. Now I should be able to ID this um, bearing. Well, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to call a stop on this head for an hour because it's just not happening. We've welded this up and basically there's steel in there. So it's, I don't know, you might be able to weld aluminium to steel but 
I'm not up on it. And like where we've welded this down, I've tapped that back out, and there's a, there's a cavity there. There's, there's also one on this side. This, this side's actually worse. It's probably, probably can't see it. I don't know. Can you see that? You really can't see it, but I can put that in into there. So it's just won't take to the steel and the aluminium. It just that one there's fixed pretty good. You know, I've, I've had a go here. I've cleaned it back up, but it's just. It reacts when you try to weld aluminium and there's steel in there. It just I don't like it. It doesn't like it. I'm not saying it's not possible. You can see that little imperfection in the thread there. That's where the cavity is. That's the good side. It's just hard to get it to take to the steel and then put aluminium above it. I'm pretty yeah. sure this is just the last thing we really need to get this to go. We've got we should have everything else. So. We can't stop now, we've, we've just got to get ahead. Simple as that, I'd rather just buy a good one. Well, this car has two oil pumps, and this is the main one. I, I didn't realise it, but someone gave me the tip that I was just going to leave it. But I'm glad I didn't, because I managed to get it apart, and not an easy thing to pull apart. But I got it apart, and look what's inside it. That's just, all that's just solidified crap. That would have went all through the new motor. So this is getting cleaned. I think there's a plate there that comes out. I've got to get that out and clean all the black, whatever you call that stuff, out of it. There's got some more parts. But, hmm. It wasn't easy to get apart either. I, I managed to, I screwed in some different bolts, nuts, whatever you think. They're not nuts, they're screws, I think they're called, yeah. And just whacked it down with a hammer and it slowly came out. Yes. All right, this is the latest on this head. What I'm doing, I've actually stopped. I'm going to stop working on this head because it's it's pretty much beyond. Re it, I'm not saying it's not possible to fix it, but the amount of hassle it's going to take to fix it. I've located another head. It's, it's in Victoria. I'm going to send this head to them. They're going to make one good head out of two. The other one's already been machined, and there's supposed to be some other parts there, but. I thought everything was good, it's ready to drop on, and then I discovered that this number two cam bearing is no good. It's chopped out. It's wrecked the face of the cam where it runs on there as well. But I put that in the lathe and give it a sam with some emery. It's sort of it's way better than it was. At least it spins. This one doesn't spin real good either when it's bolted down. So I don't know what's going on actually, but. I'm going to send it to them, they're going to have a look at it, but I've just got to make sure that the main bearings are good. I haven't actually looked at them, now I'm about to do that now. They're actually needle roller bearings. I thought these were needle roller bearings and they're not. I thought someone said that they're, they're all needle roller everything, but that's not. they're not. But the, the main bearings are, but I, I have to check the box. Right. Ready to send the head down. Better than putting in cardboard. At least I know it's going to get there and not get busted. I have to put a video up tonight because the phone's full. It doesn't take much to fill it up. I just deleted eight things. So basically, I've just got back from the chrome platers. All this stuff here you see on the bench, the chrome that is $850. And that, and that to me is getting it done at a good price. $120 bucks each for those headlight rims. These little lower ones, they're, oh, they're the rears. They're $50 each. I can't actually remember the breakdown. That was 80, which is pretty good. Um, all the rest of that is 850. The two bumpers, front one's 750, back one is 800. So all up, that's 2400 to get everything primed. And I'm dropping it there at the end of February. He's just busy right now. I just didn't want to let it sit there for a month and a half until he touched it. So he's going to ring me a week before he's ready to go. I'm going to take it over there. Anyway, things are happening on the head. The head's about to go for a vacation. It's going down there to get fixed up. Oh, there's a new one down there. I'm hoping they've got the parts I need, but I'm probably going to have to get a new cam bearing, center cam bearing for the intake from Germany or wherever the hell they come from. They're 200 bucks a throw. Anyway, thanks for that. I'll whack up a video and that's enough. That's this week's video.